Hello friends, welcome to Karma Tech. In this particular video, I'm going to show you 10 useful Mac tips which you can use on daily basis. Now we are going to start the video, but before that, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. So let's start with our first trick and it is for those who are using a MacBook or a desktop Mac with trackpad. First of all, go to system settings. Once you open system set, uh, settings, just go down, select trackpad option. In point and click, make sure tap to click function is on. Uh, now what it does when it is turned on you just have to tap on your trackpad to simulate a click but when it is turned off then you have to physically click on the trackpad to make mac detect your click so yeah turning this on really helps you a lot so if you want to do this change you can so the next trick is to preview files so instead of opening any files by you know simply uh, double clicking on it you can just preview that file now let's say if i want to check out this image i'm not going to double tap on that image because it is going to open preview application and i have to close that application each and every time so instead of doing that all you can do is simply tap on the image and press space bar on your keyboard and what it will do is it will open the image for you in preview mode so it is not going to open any particular application and once you are done you can again press spacebar on your keyboard and it will be closed now this feature works with each and every file if i tap on this folder and if i press spacebar it will show me a pop-up screen like this and if i want to open a pdf file not completely but if i want to preview a, pre a pdf file again i'm going to select that file i'm going to press spacebar on, uh, on my keyboard and now you can see you can preview the file so yeah this preview feature is very helpful now the next trick is about quitting any particular application so let's say if i open safari for now and if you're new to mac if you're thinking that uh, selecting this cross mark will quit the application then you're wrong because you can see safari is still there and if you go uh, on your dog and if you see a black dot below the application then it means that it is still running in the background so how can you completely quit that application so to quit the application all you have to do is just simply tap on that application name on menu bar and select quit uh, you know option over there instead of that you can also use a keyboard shortcut which is if you press command plus q on your keyboard uh, that application will be closed completely and now you can see the black dot is gone so if you don't know how to quit application completely use command plus q or else you can just simply uh, select the application name and select quit option now many people don't use emoji in macbook because they really don't know how to use emojis now using emoji on a macbook is really very simple uh, wherever you get a typing option you can use emoji over there so the shortcut to open emoji window is you have to press command plus control plus space bar so if i do that you can see you will get a window like this and now over here i can choose whichever emoji i want and if you want to close it then you can again simply press command plus control plus space bar and you can close that emoji tab now if i go to desktop and if i press command plus control plus space bar over here again you, you will be able to check out the emoji tab over here and to if you are getting an icon like this you can tap on that and you can check out other options as well if you don't want to use emoji if you want to use some uh, you know other icons you have that option over here so yeah uh, now you know how to use emoji in your Mac. Now the next thing is about if you want to know that how to move file from one folder to another folder in Mac then the process is simple. Simply select the file and you don't have to use uh, you know control x or command x over here because it is not going to accept that command. Instead of that all you have to do is just simply copy the file and to copy the file you have to select the file and select command plus c to copy and to move all you have to do is press command plus option plus v on your keyboard and the file will be moved so by using this shortcut you can move any particular video photo file or any particular document so yeah file moving uh, shortcut in mac is a bit different now if you want to know how to take a screenshot in your mac let me open launchpad first so that i can show you an example if i want to take screenshot of this particular page the shortcut you need to use is command plus shift plus number key three and if i press that I will be able to check out the screenshot over here but if you want to take screenshot of selected uh, portion only then again the shortcut for that is press command plus shift and this time you have to press number key 4 all at the same time and the cursor will change to this pointer and let's say if I want to take screenshot of this part only I'm going to select the area and now you can see we have successfully selected uh, or we have successfully taken the screenshot of selected part so yeah 
for taking screenshot these are the two shortcuts which you can use on daily basis the next thing is if you want to know how to access launchpad then you can select launchpad icon which you can find in dock but if you don't know what is launchpad it is nothing but uh, you know all the applications which are present in your mac you will be able to check out all the applications in launchpad but what if uh, you know launchpad is not visible in dock then how can you access it so if you are using macbook which comes with trackpad or as i told you earlier if you are using a mac desktop uh, with a trackpad then all you have to do is just simply use a gesture which is four finger pinch out gesture on trackpad and then you will be able to you know access launchpad and if you want to open any particular application you can open it directly so yeah if you have a trackpad you can use the gesture to access launchpad so the next shortcut i'm going to tell you is very helpful if you are working on multiple applications at the same time so if you want to switch between applications then you need, uh, you can just simply use shortcut of command plus tab on your keyboard and by this you can just simply you know switch between applications so let's say if i want to switch between other app i'm going to press command and i'm going to press tab and i'm going to press tab until and unless i get to my desired application so let's say if i want to you know open app store i'm going to stop on app store and it will open app store for me so yeah command plus tab is a shortcut to switch between application so there is a feature in mac known as lookup and what it does is it lets you know the meaning of selected word so let's say if i don't know the meaning of portable i'm not going to select this word i'm going to open another tab and type on google what is the meaning of that i'm just simply going to hard press or force press on that word and it will let me know the meaning of that another way of doing it is you can just simply right click on that word and select lookup option and again it will tell me the meaning or other things about that particular word now instead of force touch or let's say force press all you can do is you can simply tap with three fingers on your mac and you can you know activate lookup but for that you need to go in settings option over here and in settings again go in trackpad and over here you will find an option of lookup in point and click instead of force click with one finger you can simply select tap with three fingers and now this time if i still uh, tap on uh, you know that particular word with three fingers uh, lookup will be activated so yeah uh, it is an interesting feature do try it out now this last trick i'm going to tell you is about mission control again you need to select uh, system settings in your mac go to trackpad and this time select more gesture option and over here you will be able to check out mission control now how to use mission control you just have to swipe up with four fingers on your trackpad and what it will do is if i swipe up like this all the applications which are open in background will be displayed over here now only settings is open uh, which is why only settings is shown over here but let me open other application as well so let if i open app store safari and chrome and this time if i swipe up on my trackpad with four fingers now you can see i'm able to check out other applications so this is also a way to switch between application instead of using command plus tab you can use mission control to switch between applications just with swipe gesture so yeah again this is also a cool new feature if you are new to mac you should definitely use it so that's pretty much it for uh, this video guys if you find this video informative don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will see you all in the next one thank you